Good morning and welcome into the morning app. You are listening with Josh Howard, Dovey, and myself, Kristen. How are y'all doing this morning? Oh, it's Friday and this yes. is the day I don't have class, so I get to just come to the show, hang out, <laughs> have fun, and coast the rest of the day. So You have to wake complain. up early for the show? Yeah, but I'm I love sorry. waking up at this time. I'm no, getting used don't. to it. No, I'm getting back into you the lie. rhythm. No. Uh, no, look, as an adult now, <laughs> kind of an adult what? now. I have to sleep earlier, man. You know, I, I'm getting a routine going. Now. Really? What time did you go to bed last night? I went to bed at 11. Mm. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Look at you. Mr. You adult over here. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, it's 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock when I'm I going figured. to bed. So, no, just 11 o'clock. And we're live and ready for the morning app this morning. We have a yeah. lot to talk about. And the Grammys are this weekend, actually. Are you excited for it? I didn't know they were this weekend. I thought they were, like, in February or something. Yeah, actually, they're. I think they're earlier this year than they normally are, because normally it would be, like, February-ish whenever we get them, but it's going to be January 28th, so... Yeah, I, I like the Grammys. I think they're the most fun award show to watch because you get to see people perform throughout it. It's not just you know a bunch of people like announcing stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Right. They have a l- yeah. whole bunch of guests that are going to be there for performances. It's going to be awesome. I just, I'm, I'm really excited for. It. I love James Corden. Love James Corden. I can't. <laughs> I actually, I, I, I'd be fine with just the whole show, him announcing everything and just doing whatever. Yeah. Like make it the Late Show with James Corden. I'll throw in a few awards. He's a I would be Dude, fine he could probably that. make the craziest carpool karaoke. Wait, did he do it last <laughs> last year too? Yeah. The host? Okay, never mind. I think he fell down the Might steps already. during uh, the show. On I purpose, think, yeah. I think. I think it was on purpose. Yeah, that's Maybe. right. On purpose. That's right. But he's hysterical. But we are planning on having a Grammy party Sunday. Yeah. Sunday? Woo! I think. <laughs> We're going to have a Grammy party. It's happening. Okay. Yeah, Kristen really doesn't she, care she's at giving, all. She's giving <laughs> us like a little side look. No, it's going to happen. Yeah, We're we, going to watch it together and appreciate it. You're going to see your favorite Cardi B. Performing. Mm-hmm. So. Is she performing? She is actually. Her and Bruno Mars are going to be performing. So. Oh no, that song. Well, they what might. You know how they, like, they normally do? They'll have like Cardi B do one of her songs, and, and then, then they'll, they'll blend, do, and yeah. then he'll do one. Yeah, exactly. It's probably There'll be food. Okay. There'll be food. I will come for the 15 minutes Cardi B is on the TV and for the food. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, what we're gonna do here? We're gonna go through the probably as many categories as we can, but preferably the top, like, four or five. And we're just going to go around, talk about the songs, and get your guys' picks. I am keeping track of your picks because I want to know who wins because I turned everything into a competition. (laughs) And I just want to see if I just randomly (laughs) guess who wins because I just listened to half these songs this morning. They're garbage. No, nah, see, These songs are terrible. I Josh, agree. Josh hates Thank you, rap. Yeah. He hates rap so much. Anything with the rap beat or no, rap not artist, true. Nah, he hates. dude. I mean, Despacito is literally on like, everyone. Yeah, like, Despacito so needs to go. That's, needs to get out of here. It's not. <laughs> it so are these me. all from 2017? Yeah. Yes. They have to have been released. I think they had to be released since um, November 2016. Yeah. Or okay. Maybe December, and then it goes until. I was November gonna, 2017. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, cause some of these are pretty old and, yeah. like, not I great. <laughs> I also read some of the categories that was, like, it has to be released in 2017 or become really popular in 2017. I was like, what? I think that'll depend on what category it's yeah. for. Yeah, like, maybe, didn't Prince win one last year? Um, for some, Like, for an old, old, old song? I believe so. Yeah, I think because if it, like, gains recognition throughout the year as well, which I think is dumb, but... No, I think that's actually great, because yeah. do you know how many artists are out there, like, Tons of, I mean, whether you're a painter or a writer or a singer, your stuff doesn't become popular until years after you're dead. It's so get true. recognition when it's popular. That's fair. Yeah. Mm. Tons of, tons of artists. There's a lot of artists that, that are live that don't get recognition until years out. Like Post yeah. Malone's record, uh, yeah, Stoney, Stoney yeah. came, came out a long time ago. You yeah. Know? So I, I think that's actually kind of nice because now you're just like, because the people that gain fame instantly also lose it instantly and yeah. they're gonna get the award versus prince come on yeah fair enough yeah eh. okay fine you swayed me <laughs> <laughs> you got me all right well category number one record of the year and i can never figure maybe how you could help me i can never figure out what the difference between record of the year is and song of the year i think i feel like they're both the same but. yeah i honestly i'm not 100 percent sure i think record is probably like just singles maybe Okay. And song of the year is like songs from albums, or it could be vice versa. I can't remember. Because like, I thought it was like the song was. I thought it was like the song itself, like the the 
lyrics and the structure of it all and yeah. then you have like record of the year which is like popularity it also includes the mixing yeah like the yeah. mixing and the mastering of the track yeah. okay like bruno mars didn't he win uh for uptown funk like ron swans not ron swans Ron-swan. Ron- mark ronson <laughs> yes is the producer <laughs> yes I would love That's to a really funny image. Is Ron Swanson won an award? I like this Whoa. beat right here. Killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So for record of the year, we have Redbone by Childish Gambino. Yep. Everyone know it? Yep. Mm-hmm. Chris, like, yeah, sure, whatever. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> wow. All right. We have Despacito. Yeah. Classic. We Why? have The Story of OJ yes. by Jay Z. Mm-hmm. We have Humble by Kendrick Lamar. Yes. Yep. And we have 24K Magic by Bruno Mars. Yep. So, should our vote be what we want to win or what we think exactly. is going yeah. to win? Well, I think you got to decide. Do, I think we should do what we want to win. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll see what we happens go. when it actually okay. yeah. goes live. I'm down so. for that. Yeah. Because I don't want to say what I think is going to actually <laughs> win and people be like, oh, what is musical taste? It's awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, yeah. Actually, like, uh, most of these songs for a time period. I like Despacito, but of course, as every song on the radio <laughs> killed my cold. vibe. Yeah. Hated it. Mm. But I think the song that I want to win out of this category is The Story of OJ by Jay Z. Get out. No, look, listen to me. I just listened to that. That is. Listen to me. Trash. The reason why I like this song is because it has some really deep meaning behind it. Basically, Jay Z saying that if you're an African American, you know, no matter what your status is socially, you're still you know African American and that that really made a good message and I related to that really good so I like that song it's one of my favorites I, it, it sounds awful though nah y- Josh is a hater it, <laughs> if it sounded better we can't just award people for the meaning and not the sound and the quality and the word <laughs> like come on it was great he's a hater gotta have a beat mm. <laughs> so are you, is that your vote that's me oh I'm story of OJ okay Dobie man okay so it's different now I, <laughs> I really liked Humble and I like Redbone but I don't know if I would say like those are like the best records of the year. Uh, I'll probably just go with Humble. Yeah, that's my Kendrick vote as Lamar. well. Yep. I don't like that one either. <laughs> it's <laughs> rap. You hate rap. Anything that he puts <laughs> out is just amazing. Oh, okay, yeah. fine. It, I just like how it was like very raw compared to the last one. Yeah. It just it just felt like something that you could put together in your garage. Yeah. Kind of like that. Okay, fine. That I'm going to go a song that actually sounds like a song. Don't do it. And Don't go 24 no. Karat Magic. No. That's my vote, okay? Okay, it's a good because song. Because it, I mean, it, it's <laughs> good. the most, it, for my definition, it's the most song out of all those songs, quotes. Okay, that's, it, it is your definition oh, of a song. But we're also, consider the consider it like uh the actual award too like it's all about the mixing it's all about yeah the, yeah, yeah exactly the, pro- the mm-hmm. production of I'm the thinking song above and beyond and there's a lot going on in 24 karat yeah, yeah, magic yeah. it's like mm-hmm. super 80s i don't know how they mimicked it yeah, yeah that's fair know? they mimic it because they stole it from <laughs> the 80s <laughs> yeah wow okay category two <laughs> album of the year we have childish gambino awaken my love uh-huh. we have jay-z four 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 yeah i guess that's what it's called yeah kendrick lamar and mm-hmm. can I even say that word? I never know. I don't cuss. I mean, it's like the name of the album, line. so like, yeah. I feel like it's okay. Yeah. You know, Kendrick Lamar's album. Kendrick Lamar's album. <laughs> <laughs> Lord <laughs> Melodrama. And then Bruno Mars, 24K Magic. I don't know how Lord. Any thoughts? I know, right? Okay. I saw that earlier. How did Lord yeah. make Look, it? Look, everybody, i am let you know right now. Lord should win album of the year. I've really? been saying this since 2016. When I heard that album, it was one of the best albums of the year. This It was honestly almost as good as Lord's last album before. Really? I think so. A lot of people slept on it like, Lord? <laughs> no. Bill <laughs> Drama was really good. I loved it. I got okay. bored. <laughs> you heard the whole album? Yeah, I liked, I really liked, uh, was it Pure Heroin was the yes. the first one? That one was awesome. Yeah. And I do like Lord, but I don't know. I don't know about this one. I haven't, honestly, I haven't heard any of these albums. Huh. So I'm going to go with Lord just because she's pretty and <laughs> yeah. I really like her and yeah. she's cool. So Lord, my vote goes right, to her. So everyone... What are you voting, Dobie? I know you're not Lord. I know how he is. Dude, honestly, I'm going to have to say 24 Karat Magic. Wow. Really? Yeah, I thought, I, that I, album, I, ha- just, I just responded to that whole thing. That's just me personally. I don't, 
I think I, it will win too because I think it's got the yeah. most pop appeal. Is I'm that going your twenty four K Magic. I love. I really do like Laura. I just haven't sat down and listened to her album, which is why I can't vote for her right now. And yeah. I've heard twenty four K, and which I guess I could say that about the others. I just think the others are going to be a bunch of rap and not have any meaning and not have any song writing and everything, and oh. it's just going to be lame. Here, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. It's hit. I'm not even going to start this debate. <laughs> rap has meaning. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to go there. It's oh, too early. Man. Song of the year, though. That one's <laughs> yes, next. Yes, let's do this one. Okay, we have Despacito. Again. Which I know. Get that, off nope. the boards. We don't like you. We have 444. <laughs> yep. We have Issues. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have 1-800-273-8255. That, is that the name Logic. of the song? Yeah, that's it the actual name of because the Because that's the Suicide Hotline. So, oh. yes, it has meaning. Yeah. How do you say that? How do you say that you, title? You have to say the number. The whole number? 1-800-273-8255. Most people just say that <sighs> that Logic song. They're like, oh, yeah, that Logic song about... <laughs> the phone you know, going <laughs> And then we have That's What I Like by Bruno Mars. <clears throat> Why is he That's what again? I like. That's, That's a good, great That's song. A I'm not going to lie. Bopping song. Bruno Mars is on one. Okay, I'm letting y'all know. <laughs> that was a, killing it. I'm not a great. fan of him, uh, honestly. You, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of him either, but I think... In the last year, with his songs came out on the album, it's just he's been blowing up. He's been doing well. He, you know, he definitely. I mean, he's doing well, no doubt. But yeah. Am I in his following? Mm, no. Fair <laughs> if I had to pick, so who song, is he really? If I had to pick the song of song of the year, I would say one eight hundred two seven three because um, yeah. I think that song again had a ton of meaning behind it. It was very well produced. Logic did great. Alyssa Cara did great. Cal did great. And I think the song was just awesome. It deserved to be number one for as long as it did. So. And that one also. You know, at least I understood the meaning. I'm sure the other rap songs, yes, they probably do have meaning. Whether I understood it or not is a different story. But this one, at least I understood the meaning. So I, I think that's going to be my pick as well for that. Even though I really do like Issues. And that's what I like was Killer, like you said, Dovey. I love that song. But Yeah, I like Issues. I think I'm going to go for Issues. Ooh. Ooh. Because I like it. In, in a time where I feel like all music now is just getting, I don't know, it's getting too dense and like, uh, issues was very kind of minimal. In I a hope way. it wins, and it's really chill, and it's just like it just takes you on a journey, and you're like, "Wow, I really like this." I don't know. That's that's for me. I, I enjoyed issues out of all these. My roommate played that song over I'm and so over, sorry. and there's and nothing over. wrong with so that. So my vote does not go to that. <laughs> I'm gonna go for four, 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 four. Okay, so that's nice. my vote. Cool. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I hope Logic. Like wins, I think. I think that's a good song, but I would not be upset if Julia Michaels did because I think she's up for best new writer or best uh, new yeah. artist. Because Julia Michaels actually, she uh, she wrote a lot of songs before she became an artist. I think she wrote um, songs for Miley Cyrus early on, like before bangers Miley. and all that stuff. Yeah. So she's been around for a little bit, and My girl. we're gonna give you guys our uh, results on Monday after the Grammys. So make sure you tune in for that. And we are gonna be back on the morning app with Dovey talking about today. I learned. Ooh.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. Welcome back to The Morning App. It is 8.17 in the morning. We are your favorite college radio morning talk show, and we're super happy to have you hang out with us. We hope so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, we don't know. I feel good about it. I think we're the, one of the best, the I top think. Five. <laughs> we're top five in Boone, for in sure. In Boone, for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we're a little biased, guys. <laughs> uh, I think we're pretty great. Do you know something I noticed this morning? Like, because I, I woke up, and I kind of saw the sun for a little bit. I feel like it's getting brighter and brighter throughout the day, and I like more sunlight, so I'm pretty hyped about it. Well, that's because the sun's actually getting closer and closer to our Earth, and eventually we're going to burn to a crisp. Oh, that's true. No, it's the opposite. We're getting further and further from that's, the sun. I was oh. going to say, the universe Wait, is, is, it? The yeah. universe is technically expanding. because of technically global so. warming, we're nope. like getting closer and closer, nope. so that's it's why it's It's because of our uh, ozone layer oh, is right. crumbling, but then we're also slowly moving further away from the sun, which means we're going to experience a mild ice age scientists predict soon so yeah. we're yeah. not no, only no, gonna no be, we're not only gonna be burning for like half a day we're also gonna be freezing the other half of it's a called day climate change yeah, yeah. oh man <laughs> yeah eventually the universe like will spread out so far that it's just gonna be a cold piece of emptiness well, and, someone should stop oh, that <laughs> we'll be gone long after that oh yeah, you think yeah all right yeah. guys i don't have to worry yeah. about it yeah <laughs> my kids do interesting, <laughs> interesting thing to learn today um Ooh. but in case you didn't know, so I'm, I'm on the Friday shows now, but I used to be on the Wednesday, uh, Wednesday shows, and one thing I used to do all the time was something called Today I Learn, and that was pretty much me going on a subreddit called Today I Learn, which is kind of like a really quick, interesting fact uh, with a really quick link that you could go to and find an article about um, just some interesting stuff that I just learned within the past week that I kind of bring to the show and we can talk about. So We love it. Yeah, I have f- five picked out that I like uh, and I'm going to ask Howie or Howard I don't know if you're going by the full one either now. or man either all or. right <laughs> do you all right, pick from one to five I'm going to pick four. Oh, bad choice all right dude number four all right so today I learned that Keanu Reeves yes <laughs> often foregoes some of his paychecks so that producers can bring on other notable actors on The Devil's Advocate, he reduced his salary by a few million dollars so that they could afford Al Pacino. Oh. And he did the same thing on The Replacements to be able to work with Gene Hackman. No, Keanu Reeves is actually a really, really great guy. I, I watched a whole video on him. Like he, He's gone through some tragic stuff. I think his sister died while he was an, a, like, an actor and everything due to some disease, and he donated like all of his salary from one movie to that like cause and everything. Wow. Like, yeah, he's he's had a rough life, but he's really really good person. I I, I believe that. That's a stand up mm. guy right there. Okay. Exactly. I I really like you know yeah. his movies are always fantastic. Yeah, true. Like every single one. John Wick one and two. Dude, Amazing. yeah, I haven't seen a movie of his in a, in a while. Go watch John Wick Since one and two. I, I think two is really better than one. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, I've heard the I forget good things about that. So. Mm, I like All that right. one. The next one, Kristen. I have to pick a number. Yeah, one to four. Two. All right, so today I learned that after Beethoven went deaf, he found that he could affix a metal rod into his piano and bite down on it while he played, uh, enabling him to hear perfectly through the vibrations in his jawbone. And this process is called bone conduction. <laughs> That's <What>? unsanitary. <laughs> yeah, That's what you're thinking about, really? Not how incredible it was that you figured that out, but it's This track is fire. <laughs> this track is fire. You know, that's crazy that humans are so innovative with mm-hmm. making things just happen. You know, if you, if you really want something to happen, you are going to go out and do it, and that's a good example of that right can, there. Can we just all appreciate the fact that when he was doing that he grabbed a metal rod stuffed in his piano you, you know how many people are like what in the world are you doing yeah. <laughs> what are you doing with that metal rod there and he's just <laughs> sticking it in there he can't hear him that's how much he loved it that's yeah. how much he wanted to keep playing music he's like wait is this c let me just let me just bite <laughs> down on this real quick uh all right and okay I get a one, number? Yeah, yes. one to three. I hope you pick the one I really I'm, want. Really I'm want. picking, <laughs> I mean, we can do them all. I'm, I'm picking number three just because in Shrek, that was always the third choice. Uh, so, number three, number three, my lord. No. Today, <laughs> my, I just hit the mic. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. Today, I learned that Billy Joel never sells front row seats in order to see the real fans right in front of him. He gives away, ran, uh, he gives the front seats a waiter to the random people in the cheap seats so that the front row isn't just a bunch of wealthy people. 
Huh. Okay. Oh. So he gives away some of the tickets in the front row, so that is just not like well, mm -hmm. people in press, maybe. So it sounds like, yeah, it sounds like he leaves the f couple first rows, like you can't buy them, and then yeah. you buy the cheap tickets, and then you just get randomly selected to, to go to the front. That's really nice. Huh. We need more nice people like that in our society. I mean, Tina <laughs> Reeves and Billy Joel. Really Joel. people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they should <laughs> they should do something. They should collab or something. They really should think, on a soundtrack. Just because if we have time, I got one more that I really Go thought for really it. made me laugh. It's my favorite one. <laughs> Today I learned that Michael Jackson wanted to be Spider-Man so bad that he actually attempted to buy Marvel. Yeah, actually I did hear about this. I heard about it a couple <laughs> weeks ago and I was like, you know, what? Michael Jackson probably would have did it. If it went through, he probably would have would have did it. 100%. As Spider-Man? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look. <laughs> the W oh showed us a picture of, know. like, a, a Photoshop picture. See this, yeah, a picture of Michael is... Jackson on him. Like, amazing. 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd watch that. I'd watch it, too. You know, I have all the Spider-Man. Responsibility. Let's, let's go for it. <laughs> 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 Dov Dovey, thanks for that. Right, right now we have Legends Never Die here on 90.5 WASU.
on 90.5 WASU and WASURadio.com. 90.5 WASU. The songs you heard was Legends Never Die Against the Current and Ellen John, who is not going to be a tour anymore, is what I've heard this morning. But on this lovely Friday, it's going to get a little warmer, not by much. Josh, what's the weather looking like for today? I mean, the high for today is 48, and we're going to be like upper 40s Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Potential snow showers? Yay! What? Maybe Monday night? Yay! Potentially. Ernest is going to snow three times next week. Yeah, I, I saw my weather out this morning. I think like Monday, maybe Saturday next week, maybe like the next week. And Sunday, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I heard, so. Oh, huh. yay. Yay for a bad winter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, well, before we move into our traditionally Wednesday game, now move to Friday games because Dovey's on Dobie. Friday. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. <laughs> I don't like this game. It's so stressful. <laughs> you know what we're talking about. It's real or fake news. But before we move into that, I do want to mention, I think I started you guys on a trend, and you haven't even noticed it. What's that? But I've noticed it. So I used to always say, you know, I would say the time and I'd be like, on this lovely Monday, Wednesday, or Friday morning. And now, literally every time you have to say the day, you say lovely in front of it. So do you, Josh. No. uh Oh, yeah. I say fantastic. I no. say amazing. Mm-mm. I say happy. Molly and Taylor Ann have done it, too. I haven't heard you do it. Yeah. But, I think once, Chris is but I'm sorry. aware of it, though. Like once every once in a while, you're not going to catch me on that. <laughs> oh, no, you've done it. <laughs> so, and how has done, done it as you well. Have, you did. I do it all the time. I've now, said it like once. Wait, you usually go, it is a beautiful like no, Wednesday say, morning. I say, or, yeah, beautiful or lovely. Yeah. But they no, picked I, up on lovely. I'm it is saying, horrid. Uh, Beautiful. (laughs) Horrid Wednesday. All right. Well, it is time for real or fake news. How this works is I'm going to read four news headlines, and all I can tell you is the headline itself. You will determine if it is real or fake, and you will get a tally for every wrong answer. It is like golf, so at the end of the semester, the lowest score wins. Yay. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. First news headline. Cue our lovely game show music. California woman has been dressing as Marie Antoinette for the past 10 years. That's real. California woman. <laughs> yeah, that sounds real to me. <laughs> the only way it's not, if it's not a California woman, maybe it's like a Minnesota woman or something like yeah, that. Yeah, or Wyoming. Ooh. Do you know how intense it would be to dress as Marie Antoinette? That's dedication. I mean, corset, the cage for the skirt, everything. Yeah, but it's not as crazy as it sounds because so many people do like cosplay and stuff and they go all out. I and I feel like somebody could do it. <laughs> I didn't picture that. I just Googled it and I'm like, wow, that is a lot. <laughs> to, like the hair is like, yeah, two like, feet tall. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's that's fair. I'm gonna say it's fake. I don't know. Of course, it's real. Like, how are you gonna drive? Like with all that, that's a big dress. You yeah. Know? Well, you take the uh, horse and buggy, right? Yeah, I guess I so. That, I think that's what they did. <laughs> you you jump in the chariot. Yeah. All right. So final answer. Howie says. Fake. I no, Howie real. said real. Doby says fake. Yeah, Josh says real. real. Yes. Yep. All right. Well, Josh and Howie, you were starting off the semester great because you are both incorrect. Mm. Oh. <laughs> well, that's this not great. Fake. This is fake. You got played. You got played. <laughs> you came up with that? <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't think so. I mean, you're not that creative. expensive, man. Like, <laughs> to get the makeup and everything. Mm-hmm. I don't even... All right, second news headline. A man spends 24 hours in the bath to prove that your whole body can get wrinkly. That's real. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Uh, ooh, I don't know. I'm thinking it's real, but at the same time, who would want to be in the bathtub for 24 hours straight? Unless, I don't know. No, it's fake. Well, you it's can put TV well, in the get... bathroom now. I mean, they probably have, like, grills there, too. Like, you can probably like, have a whole <laughs> kitchen in your make, bathroom. Make lunch with your little, like, George Foreman grill. Yeah. <laughs> Flip burgers. You really could. <laughs> I mean, you'll get wrinkly in like an hour, though, right? Yeah. That's fake. Like pruny? Yeah, I'm gonna. Just... Not your whole body, though. Like, just your fingers. Like, That's you don't fake. get out he's of the pool to, and, like, like, look all wrinkly. Yeah, he's like, trying he's to show, like, like, even, like, his, everything. Like, everything is no, just wrinkly. No. Fake. Real. I'm gonna say fake. Okay. Gonna okay. Say so, fake. Doby says fake. Howie says real. Fake. No. Oh, you, you say not. fake. And then Josh <laughs> says real. Yes. Okay. Uh, happy to announce that Josh, you are again incorrect. Yay. Yay. It's fake. Wow. <laughs> Not good. It's like the right. opposite. Wow. Well, one has got to be real. Semester. Third news headline: Couple has 26 dogs 
each named a different letter of the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> 26 dogs. That's so each real. Name. You That's know, real. It's got to be yeah. real for all of them now. 26 dogs. That's not that hard. To oh, 26 wait, dogs. Man. The, I could do the, that. The dog uh, that starts with an X, xylophone. Um, or is it just Xavier? X? Is it just the letter? Oh, it just says each named a, a different letter of the alphabet. Xavier. Oh, that's yeah. so creepy X. too. B, C. Yeah. I just, guess so. Oh, I would. I'd la rather have it the beginning letter, but I'm gonna go real. Right. Hmm. I want to. I want to say fake, but at the same time, I really feel like it's real, because I think that's something that people would do, because they love dogs enough to name them with twenty with different levels, with different letters of the alphabet. To get twenty six so. of them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to say it's real, too. Yeah, I'm going to say it's real. I think we're all going to say real. You all say real? Yes. Yeah. Whew. You are all wrong. This is fake. What? Fake news. I should have gotten mm. baloney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are any of these going to be real, Kristen? Mm, I don't know. Fourth <laughs> news headline. Woman collects lifelike dolls, even posts a picture of a fake baby bump to announce a new one is coming. Oh. Wow. Real. Like, someone's got to be crazy enough to do this. Real. I'm going to go with fake. I'm going to go with fake. That's a little outlandish. That's a lot. <laughs> real. Um, I'll say real. There you go. I'll okay. say it's real. Okay. All right. Dobie and Josh, you're finally correct on one. This is absolutely real have you ever seen my strange addiction this isn't that far off the yeah it's here. gotta be that yeah i was kind of just playing devil's advocate <laughs> like yeah this woman <laughs> collects ultra realistic quote-unquote reborn dolls and reveals with you know a fake bump to mimic a pregnancy as she waits for the 500 dollars replica baby to arrive Wow. Do you think yeah. she, like, posts a lot of pictures during Christmas time because that's when people, like, buy her her dolls, maybe? Like, as gifts? Like, you got, like, three I pregnancy mean, pictures it's not right even around Christmas? Like, it's not even like these are dolls to her. Like, I mean, I looked through her old account, and these are, like, she treats them as real kids, and she has, like... You know, I mean, some women who can't have kids, though, you know, they just deal with it in any way they can. I guess this is her version. I guess so. Um, she should have done the 26 dogs all named A, B, C, D, D. You know, <laughs> <keep going with laughs> 26 dolls. I like it. But, yeah, <laughs> that is all we have here for you on the Morning App right now. And coming up next, we have the relationship segment. You're listening to the Morning App on 90.5 WASU.
And now back to the morning app on 90.5 WASU. 90.5 WASU, welcome back to the morning app here on a horrendous Friday. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not lovely anymore since Kristen said we say it all the time. No, it is lovely. Uh, Don't listen to Josh, okay? It's lovely. And talking about love, it is our normal relationships segment. What is love? There we oh, go. Me. <laughs> I didn't see Don't hurt me. No more. We got to work on our timing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was like, relationship segment. I completely <laughs> forgot. And I'm like, oh, I got to play it. <laughs> Josh, uh, what do you have for us? Uh, I don't have an article, but I was, I was reading a relationship article to try and prepare for this relationship segment. And I found this one line. And I want to ask you if you guys believe this is true or not. The relationship article I was reading said, your relationship can and should only supply about 25% of your happiness. Trying to get any more out of it is asking too much. Really? Do you agree? 25%, that's only a fourth of your happiness. Huh. Hmm. I, I think I know that's Kristen's I never low. thought about it. I feel like that's low. I think it would be higher. I think like 33%, maybe like a third of your happiness, maybe? How do you measure happiness, though? I think... I think it's because of, like, your, your love life, your friends, and your hobbies. That's mm -hmm. what I would say, like, out of the three. Because one-third of it is doing hobbies, like, whatever you like to do in your free time. The other part of it is your friends that you go hang out with. And then the, the last part is your significant other. So I okay. think that. I think job plays a role in this, too. Mm -hmm. You could even consider it to be yeah, poor. A lot of people's fair. job affects their happiness. They don't like it. Or yeah. if they do like it, you know? Okay, fair enough. Fair so enough. maybe this could be true. Maybe four, then. Add job to that. Career. Really, Kristen? Yeah. I figured out everyone, you'd maybe be the one to be like, oh, that should supply 50%. It should supply... Your relationship? Know. Yeah. No. Oh, no. You've I predicted like... I would say that? No, no, no. Yeah. I fully believe that you should be like an operating independent person. Mm -hmm. That way you can be a good teammate on your team. Like, <laughs> you and this other person are playing a game together called life okay so <laughs> you need life. to be a good lose. team member and you need to be independent so i would say if 75 percent of you is happy on your own yeah that's probably pretty good yeah. and then supply the other 25 percent from your teammate yeah okay you know i would say maybe this is this is pretty accurate um, I kinda that's like so that. interesting i've never thought about like okay uh, Dovey, let me, let me talk to you then because you're, you're in a healthy relationship yeah that's dope yeah, I'm trying to think about that because it's like, I do agree. Like you, like you said, like you want to be able to be happy on your. Well, happiness for me is different too. Like I don't think of happiness like as a thing you can rate. Yeah, I just think it is. You know, even even if it's even like if things are zero percent or hundred percent. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. Th I don't think of it as like a uh, a thing you could measure because, you know, for me it's like I just am happy. You know, even even though stuff is off and sometimes I get stressed out, I'm like, overall, like, I know I'm happy. I'm like, I'm loving, like, this. Like, this part of me is, like, I love being able to do this. Um, but, like, my relationship's a part of that, too. Like, being able to work with that. I don't know. That's really... I guess I just never thought of actually rating yeah. happiness because that mean, could be... I just think that was do. low. I think it also depends on probably where you are in life, you know? If you are later in life and your career has settled and it's just you and your significant other, you know, at that age where you're like, you don't have a ton going on. You don't really have a ton of hobbies. You maybe have a few friends, but it's mostly you and your significant other just kind of living out life together. You know, maybe then it supplies a little bit more, but also right now we're in our twenties. We have a ton going on. Yeah. Maybe 25% is probably good. And if you are trying to get more out of it, sure. Maybe you are asking too much, but I think it also depends on your stage of life. Yeah, I, I agree with that, too, because I, I, whenever Dove was talking about it, you know, I never thought either that you could rate how happy you are. You know, like, yeah, I'm feeling like a 60% today of happiness <laughs> out of 100. But if you take into consideration all the stuff that you do on a daily basis and where you're at in college, where you're at in friendships, relationships, and all that stuff, it does kind of factor in. It does make sense that you have certain percentages of happiness that you do have, you know. Like, I love doing radio this, mm -hmm. is, this is what i've been doing since freshman year i love playing video games when i'm at home i love hanging out with my friends and so that keeps me happy on my toes and i always feel like i'm pretty happy most of the time but there could be like a little bit where since i'm single i'm not as fully happy as some people are so 
You know, it, it does make sense if you think about it. I just know when, when I was in a he healthy relationship, I was, like, genuinely happy in that relationship. It it bled over into everything else I did, and it made everything else, like, better. So that's why I was curious. I'm, like, 25%, because literally, like, I did better in classes. I did better, yeah. like, just overall thinking mentality. Like, when I was happy with someone, like, it just bled over into everything else. Right. I think... And, you know, I, I don't know. I think that maybe, because this might differ because we're a guy and a girl, but at the beginning of your relationship, it's uh, this huge, like, rush of happiness, mm -hmm. and you're always happy, and you're just so in love, and the it's honeymoon. the honeymoon stage, yeah. right? And then, but I think as you settle into who you are, who he is or she, and then you kind of just, uh, not really, you've surpassed the honeymoon phase, but it's still, like, a healthy, good relationship. I would say 25% probably is accurate. Yeah. At the beginning, I'm sure there's a huge spike in that. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure it goes to 75% or yeah. 100%, <laughs> and you're, you have a basket full of flowers, and you're just throwing them at everybody, right. but... Going broke. You mm -hmm. know, maybe... Oh, yeah, for guys going broke. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. I think that, yes, this statement has some truth, but I wouldn't say it's the whole truth, and I would say that it's subjective to change, yeah, you know, obviously enough. as in anything in life. The, the biggest truth about it is that you... It's basically saying just don't depend on yeah. Yeah. other people to be happy. Like 75% is what it's saying. is like 75% of it should just come from you. What you're doing. What you're yeah. doing. You know, loving what you do, loving where you are in life and being in that moment. And then 25 could come from somebody else, like somebody that you're in a really, like when you're in a good relationship, you know, you have somebody that can support you when you do go through the bad stuff. Yeah. And that's like a big help when you have somebody right there to be like, hey, I got your back, you know, and mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I think I have in the past put too much like, I guess just expectations, but also I feel like, you know. There are minimum expectations, but I feel like in the past, though, I have been like in my very first relationships, like, oh, my gosh, they, they should be there for me all the time. And well, yeah, they should be there for you. But, you know, like they should supply all my happiness. Right. And, you know, that's just not true. Right. Fair okay. enough. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, good arguments all around. OK, 10 out of 10. Well, my topic isn't as romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually kind of was thinking more about because uh, it's been this whole semester now and I have new roommates. And oh. I think oh. roommate relationships are kind of also relationships in a way, just like because you have to kind of get to know them to be able to cohabit with them. With yeah. them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so I guess, well, I was doing the same thing, Josh. I was looking through like some articles and I found some that I found one that was like, you know, roommates that you'll have in your 20s. Um, but I guess the real question that, that I started thinking about was how do you maintain a positive relationship with your roommates? Like, have you ever had a roommate that was really difficult to work with? But, you know, how, how did you deal with that? Like, how did you? Yeah, for me, um, my roommates, freshman year, uh, junior year, and this year, great. I didn't have any issues, or if I did have issues, they were fixed, it, like, right on the spot, whenever it was confronted. Um, sophomore year, my roommate, me and him, we didn't get, a, we weren't really, like, best friends, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, we we got along to an extent to, like, yeah, if you need to get one thing done, it would get done. But... Other than that, we didn't get as, get along as, like, my other friends did. Um, so basically what I did during that is I kind of, you know, said, okay, this is what's wrong. We need to work on it, get it fixed. Mm -hmm. And I would just be in and out of the of the place the whole time. I lived on campus at the time, so I wouldn't stay there. If there was, like, a big problem, I would just go to my friend's place or something like that. That's how I dealt with it, at least. I think this is dependent on who you are as yeah. a person. But yeah. for me, the key to, like, a really good roommate relationship is honestly not to get that close to them yeah not to be best friends with them because then you can wow. handle things that are a roommate topic that you would feel uncomfortable discussing with your friend mm. being like yeah. you know you could call them out all day if they're your friend and be like hey you're a slob do the dishes and they'd be like ha 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 you're so funny Kristen." i'm like no like take <laughs> me seriously do the dishes you know or something yeah. like that like but if you're well, not that close with them and you don't have a friendship but you have a roommate relationship you can handle those problems and still cohabitate and, like, live together and, you know, be I friendly. I feel like if you are close friends, though, then, like, both will be understanding, like, hey, do the dishes. Like, yeah, I'm going to do it tonight. Yeah, I kind of left it around the house. That's I, – I'm trying to I'm trying to come closer to my roommates so where, like, I can, you know, we talk to them about that and be – like, I, right now I have to, like, kind of – I'm like, is that, is, that, is that your plate over there? Yeah. Why is it, like, on the couch laying down face down with food? He's like – didn't put it away. Like, can you do that? Like, you know, something okay. like Maybe it depends, guys it, versus girls, I think too. on uh, guys, yeah. we're so much easier with, uh, you know, 
if there's a problem, we'll say it. Mm-hmm. And normally they'll they'll do it, but if not, then it becomes a bigger issue than what it originally yeah. was. That's then, what I think. It, there's a lot of I think, especially with roommates, there's a lot of complaining behind all your roommates' back. Yeah, <laughs> like there's a lot of that. But uh, ultimately, at the end of the hate day, hate Josh. Uh, he's the no, worst. I, I, that, I have that, like that no complaints. <laughs> My roommate this year is fantastic. Like zero complaints. It's been a great ride because yeah. we're roommates. You know, we, we didn't know each other prior to this. Yeah. I, I think uh, it's getting better for me just because I know them more and more, and that's why it's better. Like, the more and more I get yeah. to know them and hang out and become better friends with them, the better it's being for me anyway. Yeah. But that's just me. I mean, Dovi, I hope you figure it all out with your new roommates and everything. And yeah, man. I'm sure you'll yeah, update yeah. us later. Like, <laughs> you're a like, cool guy, oh, so don't worry. Uh, you got it. I I'm hate sure. him. Huh? But <laughs> we'll, we'll be back on Monday for a little Grammy recap with Molly and then just a regular school week once again, as long as it doesn't snow. But thanks for <laughs> listening to the Morning App, and we'll see you Monday.